So it's been quite a while since I did the top most strongest blocks in build about for treasure, but I think it's time to do another list because I think it's kind of important. And this episode, I wanted to go through everything that has different durabilities and the list is actually quite much longer. Um, and coming in at the lowest, but still kind of high, is probably the one most people have more. Uh, it's the gold block. There's nothing really special about it. Um, it has nine hit points of damage. Um, oops, I just painted it, my bad. No, it has nine hit points of damage. Um, and it's strong, but not the strongest. There's many more stronger. Coming in at number, coming with 10 hit points of damage is actually quite a lot of blocks. Um, you might have remembered this one as being one of the strongest blocks of the portal. Um, but all of these have 10 hit points of durability, um, which is actually kind of cool. The winter boat motor uh, has 10 hit points, along with the wheels and these thrusters specifically, and the mystery block, which I'll activate just for fun, because uh, I want to see what happens, because it's probably going to explode uh, very shortly, because that's just what the mystery block does, and we don't really want to judge it, because it's the way it is. Um, and there it goes. And coming in at number 12, it's actually a smaller selection of blocks with just the harpoons. But again, who doesn't like harpoons? Um, they now have cooldowns if you didn't know. That's the dual wielding one. This is the gold one, which might surprise you to know that it actually does only have the same amount of uh, hits. Uh, and the dragon one is more or less the same. Uh, and I never used the boat motor, but I guess it exists. Um, and that's it for our next ones for the ones that aren't selected over here um because now we have the bigger ones you thought 12 was big uh well get ready for our next one because these all have 20 hit points of damage uh and i didn't label it because i thought it'd be more suspenseful if i actually said it um but yeah these have 20 hit points of damage as you can see um and they range in a variety of thrusters and just uh shield generators so i guess it's not much of a variety but yeah 20 hit points is quite a lot uh you can actually stand up for quite a while um but again that's not it um because if it was this video would be very short and it is a very short video because i want you guys to see everything and it's a quick short of information these have 25 hit points of damage the thing i'm wearing is 25 hit points of damage um 20 hit points I meant ultra jetpack was meant to be over there uh, but these cookies have 25 hit points of damage um don't know how i didn't catch that but yeah these have 20 hit points of damage um these only have 10 and as you're about to see i accidentally clicked on it but these are the strongest ones in build over treasure and technically these all three are different materials um whether it be from the subtle difference in color from the bottom or it be literally just a different wheel um, but these are the strongest things in Build of Over Treasure. Front wheels, um, having a gold rim, if you want to know the difference, and back wheels having a brown rim, uh, but they all have 40 hit points of damage. So that means, theoretically, we could have a boat with this, um, which means, you know what it means, I, I'm going to make a boat out of it. Um, so I'll see you in a few seconds. Um, when this is all done and this is it this is the strongest boat you can have in build over treasure um technically with over 480 hit points of damage um not including the throne i think it's 480 exact um this thing could take a beating um and i'm curious just how far it can actually go um uh, before it just topples over and we'll give it a nice coat of paint um to make it look slightly nicer um why not? Why, why, why shouldn't we? I actually had a last minute change I wanted to make. Um, so. Backside doesn't need as much. But I wanted the top to have a little protection. We're doing that. Um, just so y'all can see me. We'll set the transparency just to a little. Just so y'all can see. I should say this is the strongest boat in Build a Boat for Treasure. All right, and I think that's where the time lapse is going to start. So I'll see you when it gets far. It's a little bit of an update. Um, I think, no, just one of the, uh, no, two of them have broken. 
Um, so that's a little concerning, but we are almost halfway through the actual whole levels. Uh, I don't think we're going to get to the end. I don't want to bring your hopes up, because I think that would be a little bit, uh, a little bit too, too hopeful of me. Alright, it seems like another boat is broke. Another one is broken. I keep saying boat. Um, it appears that we are reaching the end of the strength of these. Um, 40 hit points can go really far, as we can see. But it can't go forever. Ooh, that's like an insta-break one. Um, I think this is going to be it right here. Oh, wow. All right, that's that's got to be it. That's it. We'll see how far I can get with this. Now, again, these these wheels have 40 hit points of damage, so they shouldn't be underestimated how far they can go. But again, they're only they're only wheels. They aren't invincible and we can't expect them to go that far. As we can see, the wheel, the last part of our ship, seems to be doing decently, um, but I don't think it has much of a longer lifespan than this. I'm going to be honest, the tentacle stage really roughed it up, and I think we have uh, reached a breaking point, uh, metaphorically and reality. Um, but this was really fun, and I do hope you have an amazing day. I hope this video helped a little bit and tells you which um, things you should build your boat out of now. Um, now, take this as a general guide, and there it goes, it broke. Um, because, you know, you shouldn't build your boat with only wheels. But if you have a lot of these things, always know that they'll last you a pretty long time, and you can rely on them. Have an amazing day. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and comment your favorite part on which item you'll use for your boats now. See ya!